Hello! And in this video we're going to show you how to repair your EFI partition. In case that is damaged or formatted inadvertently, your computer will not start and you'll also have problems trying to use the system startup recovery tool because that'll also have a little bit of a problem. Okay, so the first thing you actually need to do is you'll probably get a black screen and it giving an error message saying cannot start or something of like that. What you need to do is on another computer, you need to basically go to Google, okay? Type in Windows 10 ISO, and then you just click over here, create Windows 10 installation media, okay? Download the tool. Once that downloads, you run it. Then create installation media. Choose the language that you want, English, United Kingdom, United States, etc., based on your thing. And if it's 64 or 32 bit, okay, click next. And then we're gonna use a USB flash drive. Okay, and then choose basically your USB disk, click next, and then it'll download Windows 10 and put it on to the flash drive, which we're gonna to use to repair our computer. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this because we already have that done. Okay, so now, assuming your computer was getting a black screen and you've created your Windows repair disk, either using our previous video or our steps at the beginning of this video, we now just click next after it boots up and instead of clicking install, click repair your computer. Okay, now, at present, our system is fully working. That's why you're getting this exit and continue to Windows 10. What you'd want to do, okay, if you were getting the black screen, is click on that and then Command Prompt. And now, you need to click on disk, I mean, not click, type disk part, list disk. And in our case, we have two disks, and you can see the asterisk sign is on our first disk, okay? This is just a demo computer, so you can see it's quite small. So we need to select the Windows disk, which is disk zero. Select disk zero, type that in. Okay, now list partition. Now you can see we have over here our partition two, is the system EFI partition. Now, if this was corrupted or formatted, you would need to basically restore this. The way we'd actually do this is basically select, select partition two, and now it's selected. Okay, now we assign a drive letter to it, okay? For example, in this case, we'll choose S, okay? We know it's free, so S, assign letter S. And now, if I was to exit it, the disk part program, and I would then basically go to the S drive, just typing S in a colon, and then dir to see what we have you can see we've got our efi partition let's assume that's corrupted so what we need to do now is format this partition so format type format and then our s partition s colon and then forward slash file system fs colon fat32 click yes Click yes, and it should do it very quickly. Give it a name, call it system. That's done. Now what we need to do is basically put back our EFI files, because if I show you over here, you can see there's no EFI files, and that's generally what you might find when you first come in here, if it has been corrupted or formatted. Okay, so now we need to type B, C, D, boot. Now in this case, we know 
our hard drive is actually called D because the C drive is the USB. So I'll just give you an example. If I type D colon and then DIR, you can see it's got our Windows folder in there. Okay, so all I need to do now is basically go back to my S drive and then B, C, D, boot. And then it's going to be from the D drive. We're copying the files backslash windows and then forward slash S. And then it's our drive letter that we use for our system drive that we assigned. So it's S and then space forward slash F and then UEFI. Press enter. And as you can see, it has now created our EFI folder. And we'll just confirm that by typing DIR. We've got our EFI. And what should happen when I exit out of the command prompt, we should get this exit in and continue to Windows 10. So effectively, what you've done here is you have restored your EFI partition using these things. All the commands we should put in the description in case it's hard to read from the screen. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.